YouTube. That was weak. I can do better. I don't know if I want to. Welcome back, guys. Today they have a demo day at uh, Harley. So I'm off to the Harley dealership to see what bike I can demo. I'm hoping I can get the V-Rod or something similar to that. God, that thing is a fucking 114 cubic inches. That motor is freaking huge. Alright guys, got a 2017 Harley, I believe it's the Lowrider. 110 cubic inches Screaming Eagle Edition. First thing I'm noticing is, as almost every Harley is, this thing is vibrating. Um, from from what I'm used to, guys, uh, the foot pegs already are kind of annoying. Just kind of walking with the bug, get it going and whatnot, and I'm almost hitting it. Um, the engine case is fucking huge. This motor is ridiculous. Uh, my leg's kind of hitting it. indicator right there hope you guys can see it rpm gauge is all the way down really can't see anything while you're riding um, from what it looks like it looks like there is a possibly cruise control on this pig I mean I, I'm just riding this thing's 2,000 rpms third gear 30 miles an hour my foot's vibrating I can feel it all the way through my feet I mean, it kind of feels good, it's like a massage on my feet. Um, surprisingly, not that much vibration in, in my hands though. I thought there would be a lot more. I mean, my arms aren't sore, all my weights on my ass, not my arms. It's 100% it's different than riding what I ride now. I could definitely see getting one of these in five years. I mean, this is very, this is very comfortable. And I don't know how many gears there are, so... Seems to not like six gear. But I believe there is a gear number six. Okay, so this does that right there. That's, that's nice. I like that. Same as the car, it turns off when you hit it. Thing kind of punches you when you really get going. But, uh, look at that! I have one hand in the clutch side! Um, 
Um, the, only, the only thing uh, I noticed so far is the, the vibrating on my feet. It's actually kind of annoying. Um, it's it's one hundred percent different. I don't I don't mean to be rude when I say annoying to any Harley people like that. It's definitely got low end. This it, it's kind of almost ridiculous. Like when I'm trying to compare this to a sports bike and my leader bike, my low end is still within six thousand RPMs, and that's redline for this thing. Redline's um, six thousand to eight thousand. And when so my my low end is this uh, this bike's top end. So when I say this thing's got good low end, this thing's got two thousand RPM low end torque, and that's it's different. It's very weird. When I power shift and it drops down to two, it still has the torque and pushes me forward. Dragon knee, brah! I don't know if you guys can see it at all, but I'm, I'm definitely kind of getting jumpy when it, when it shifts. I mean, that's just that low end torque I'm kind of telling you about. What the fuck is that thing? Sailboat! Without a sail. And one other thing I would like to comment on, whenever I'm on my bike and I see a Harley, their exhaust is always really loud. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm on it and the exhaust is behind me or because these are semi-stock bikes and they're just not that loud, but uh, I mean, it's got a nice grunt, but it, it's really, it, it's tolerable inside the helmet. I, it, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. But yeah, this, this cruise control thing is uh, quite lovely. Just hit a brake and uh, yeah. So guys, back on the Jixxer. Um, first thing, right away, I mean, I, I have weight on my arms. I don't personally think it's a bad thing, but not, not as, we'll say, comfortable as the Cruiser. Um, and then my power van, it's completely different. It's more relaxed and the low RPM is getting going. Versus that thing was kind of almost touchy in the low RPMs. So guys, I hope you like my review of the 2007 Harley Lowrider. Um, this was just a demo day. This was free to me to do. Something I like doing every now and then, just hopping on a different bike. Hopefully I can do this a little bit more often. Um, be scraping pegs on my other bike. Hopefully I can do this more often. I can do this with different bikes, Harleys, Hondas, Victory. I mean, just, just anything. I like to experience what other bikes feel like. I, you know, if I, if I test drove all sport bikes, I could tell you what's wrong with my bike and what's right with my bike. and. 